Good morning, First Baptist Church. We're going to have a bit of a different video announcement this morning. Specifically, we're going to have a public service announcement. I invite you now at this time to go ahead and take out your Connect Guide. And if you open it up, you'll see on the inside we have this insert entitled, Four Ways to Give Digitally. We at First Baptist always want to be on the cutting edge of technology, so we went ahead and upgraded our giving kiosk system to a more advanced, more efficient, safer option. So we're going to go through these four ways that we offer to give your tithes and offerings digitally. The first way to give digitally, as you can see in your Connect Guide, is online at www.fbctupelo.org. If you've given online before, not much has changed really. You still go to the website and on the home page, in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, put it right here, the upper right-hand corner of the screen, it says online giving. If you click that, it will take you to the new giving page. There you'll be prompted to sign up and create an account and select if you want reoccurring giving or if you want to do one-time gifts or what category you'd like to give to. The second way that you can give digitally is via your cell phone. What you can do is you can text this number, the amount that you want to give, with a dollar sign followed by an amount. And it will ask you to do a brief registration process. And then from then on, if you want to give to First Baptist Church, all you have to do is text this number and you will automatically deposit that amount out of the payment method that you select. And the third way to give is by using the giving chaos located in both the lobby area in front of the adult Sunday school area and in the grand hall. The process to use this kiosk is very simple. You have the option of either selecting Give Now or Event Registration. So when we select Give Now, you can choose if you want to give to the General Tithes and Offerings, the World Mission Offering, State Mission Offering, or the Building Capital Fund. I'm going to select the Building Capital Fund here, and I'm going to type an amount. We'll say $10 followed by a decimal two zeros for your cents. And I'm going to go ahead and Give, Process Payment, and now all you have to do is you take your credit card and make sure that the magnetic stripe is facing down and to the left and simply swipe the card for the payment to process. After you swipe your card, you'll be prompted to enter your email address. This is so that you can receive your receipt for the amount of your donation. After you've entered your email address, simply press process donation. And after a brief loading period, you will be giving this gift successful dialog. Simply press OK to return to the main menu. Another exciting feature of this new kiosk system is the event registration feature. You'll notice that on the front of that screen there, it gives you the option to register for an event. So now we'll be able to register for things like VBS or youth trips, things like that from the giving kiosk, which will help to streamline the registration for some events. And the last way to give digitally is via QR codes. If you're one of the folks that likes to give using the QR code, well, the good news is, is it's right there on the back of the Connect Guide, right where it's always been. So you'll want to scan that with your phone and complete the new registration process as soon as possible. And one last thing we want to note, you'll notice that the new giving kiosks that are in the Grand Hall in the Adult Sunday School area are iPads, basically, powered by a USB port that plugs directly into the wall. So if you see one of those it being unplugged by accident, do us a favor and just go ahead and plug it back in. That way we can keep them up and operational at all times. And that's it for this week's video announcements. We hope to see you again next Sunday. If you have any questions regarding the new giving system, please feel free to contact the church office. Bye.